What is up YouTube, Lazy Llama here, and we are back with some Clicker Heroes, and today we are transcending. Uh, I didn't really push the Hive Zones, um, I got kind of stuck where the fish isn't popping up. Um, that sometimes happens for some reason, the fish just decides not to show up anymore. Uh, I did set us up with some decent relics, I was going to wait another 3 hours and then go, but honestly, I'm going to be busy in like 3 hours, so I want to get going as much as I can now, push as far on this run as possible, and just kind of get things rolling. So... Let's get this started. Let's, um, I did do another run in between. Um, so we are actually up to 21. I did do run in between. I kind of, like I said, dragged this out. This transcendence is way longer than it needed to be. Um, it could have been actually almost half what it is. But uh, we got it to 21. I'm not going to get the 22 here, which kind of stinks, but uh, not a big deal. I did a, just a ton of uh, quests for, uh, quick ascension quests. I got like two or three 30 minutes on Arthur before he did this. So. Um, this is a pretty short one. I think this is a three hour, or sorry, four hour. Um, two or four hour. Uh, I forget, but uh, anyways, let's ascend, claim what we do have, it's about half, I could do one more run, um, and I'd have to honestly get another quick ascension thing to push that, uh, as you can see, we'd only get about that, but hey, not too bad nonetheless, let's just um, let's transcend, we're not going to respec or anything, we're going to keep what we got, we got the 22, which is cool, um, our max transcendent primal is actually uh, higher, once again, that's what you want to see, I think because I got 21, I'm honestly thinking I just drop this in here. I just don't know what that's going to do for me yet. Maybe I'll go one more run and then I'll drop another one in here. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the best bet, though. Yeah, let's just try it. Let's just do it. I just dropped that up. This is going to make us just... Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think we will benefit from it. Uh, and then just go with the one last one on the board. I was going to put it in like Ponyboy or something. because I do want to get Ponyboy up to 100 just to have it there. Like I'm just going to make like, little milestones and just try to get things to those milestones but um that's not bad let's get this get this rolling start clicking boom uh quick ascension perfect still above our 700 which is what i wanted um oh, zone progression on we can claim let's see what we get in here first so solomon if we don't get a solomon elsewhere because you need a solomon your first run i start off with these two here um get those off the bat Start with them. See what we get. Uh, I should probably start up here. There's a Libertas. Perfect. I mean, we're guaranteed. I mean, if we don't get four good relics, I'm going to be real upset. There's a Solomon here, which we may replace because we may just buy the Solomon level. There's a second Libertas, which is good. We do need a Cialatus. If we get a Cialatus now, we're set. If two Cialatus, I'll replace the Solomon and I'll pick up uh, the Solomon uh, in there, basically. Let's spend these so we get the Forge Cores. So, next things we go, we have some Forge Cores to like level up, basically. 16 more to go through, which we probably won't even have to grab those six, other 16 yet. How was that? Oh, I thought I saw one. Another Libertas, which is I mean, better than that, but obviously we do need some damage. If I don't get any, all right, we are going to claim that other 16 for sure then. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm just going to buy a couple levels of everything. Uh, Forge Cords for me don't really do anything later in the game, but early in the game they do help do a bit of pushing. So this will allow us to bump up our Forge Cores that we're going to get. I should have actually checked before I did this to see how much we would have gotten. Um, but just a little bit, and I could do a couple more levels on most of these. Uh, might as well take the extra second and do it. And actually we do want to get off of you, so idle kicks on. Uh, yeah, just spend the rest of these up. Cool. And I can uh, make these worth a lot more. Uh, I am going to, like I said, claim this, even though I really probably shouldn't. Uh, and I should just try to get Solomon as a relic. Um, I do want Solomon, so. Oh, sorry, not Solomon. Um, Cialatus, which, again, if I don't get, I'm going to be real upset. And I'm looking like I'm about to be real upset. Dude, how do you not get one in all of that? Um. So, for example, I'm not going to do this as efficiently because I don't care as much at this point. But you can see I got 104 there. If I start uh, claiming these, you just kind of go through them all. And you can go back through them all at least twice without having to even calculate if it's profit or not. I mean, see, just after that, it's gone up a ton. That's kind of the idea. Like every little bit you do just jumps it up so much. Some of them will jump it up five. Some will jump it up ten. Um, some, I mean, some will jump it up thirty. I mean, not normally these low level ones. I'm just, I don't really not gonna make sure this is perfect, but let's just do that. Boom. Perfect. Let's get um, a couple levels of tributes going. Try to get some idle gold coming in because 
idle gold's gonna save us. I'm going to save it here before I actually level anything up. Let's get things going here. Let's do that because I want it. Um, honestly, let's cycle some five minutes if that's what we're getting. E our ruby or what was this one? A two day, never mind. Um, yeah, we'll go for the eight hours on you, and then get you on something a little more efficient. Perfect. Four hours is a good bit of time, so that gives me a lot of time in between to kind of get things going. I do want to save it at this point before I go messing around with my ancients, because this is where things could go wrong. I, I do want to see a lot of, so I want to make this a good run. So I'm going to start off with picking up the Solomon, and hopefully you see a lot of shows up. It doesn't. We do get a Nog. I'm going to re-roll uh, once, twice, see a lot of, boom. Not bad. Left with two left. That's two levels. Not bad. So if we import again, let's see what happens if we re-roll right off the bat instead of picking up Solomon and see kind of what benefits us more. I did import this, it just takes a little bit. Um, can I afford some levels of you? Yeah, let's get you up. Might as well keep that income going even though we're going to lose it if I do re-roll again. Because uh, if, if we can re-roll here and get it right off the bat, which we didn't, yeah, we're already at the point where we're spending too much going through. We were beneficial because again, same number, but we're missing a relic this time. So we can go back, do what we did before. That seems like it's going to be the fastest and cheapest bet to a Cialatus, which will give us a decent Cialatus. Um, we're going to be leveling up all those relics, the, um, the Libertas relics, which is going to give us some insane jumping. Uh, so we got that coming. We can buy level 50 of that. Uh, and then we want Solomon, which is good to have anyways. And then reroll, reroll, pick up, boom, level, level. Nice. So then we pop into here again, and you level these three evenly with all the forge cores we've stacked up, which is also another good reason to have um, so many relics going in, because if you have the extras, they just turn into forge cores. And again, earlier in the game, forge cores really do help you, but at the point I'm at, like, relics do nothing for me, like, after I get past, like, honestly, like, zone 12,000, even before that, they're very minimal help. Um, and we're going we're gonna to just spend everything we have here on these three. Um, keeping these all high. I mean, that's really high. That's not probably worth it, to be honest. Um, leveling up Solomon relics aren't the greatest because they level up only a tiny bit, but for as cheap as it is, put that there, and then we'll do this one, that again, and I think we can afford one more of that. Perfect. Good spot. Um, we're making a lot. We're gonna, You're going to start seeing how fast we start flying through this ascension now because of the setup, which is what I really wanted. Um, you get a setup like this, and we're going to we're gonna be insta-killing basically the rest of the time now. <clears throat> all the way through this we insta kill which is good I mean you want to be insta killing as much as possible if you can insta kill like the whole way sorry I was distracted by something um, insta kill all the way through that's that's I mean obviously the best bet some people literally I mean you've seen our I wish you could go back and see your fans your all your previous fans but uh which is your first uh, first ascension so, it means the first ascension after transcending. I know that. I forget exactly what it stands for. It doesn't really matter. But um, you know what I mean. Like I wish you could go back and see that just because like comparing them to some. Like I get some really, really short ones. And some people like cannot do that to save their life. And it's crazy. Like, And I've been doing it for a while. Like for a long time. Like since I was a fairly low level, I'd be able to get like 12 minute first ascension. I mean this one's going to be a little long because I, I dilly dallied at the beginning here. Um, but should still be... I could make it a sub-15. Uh, I'll probably push on a little farther just because um, I like to do that if I'm insta-killing. But honestly, really, slickly, if you can insta-kill up to um, 130 you should, and you have a Solomon um, with, I mean, the boost you get from, like, Ponyboy and uh, Borb and your Transcendent stuff, I mean, you want to just reset that because there's the little bit you're going to, the time you're going to spend pushing for the little bit you're going to gain compared to what you could do by getting right back up to where you just were is ridiculous. But this is this is gonna be a good run. We got, I mean, I wouldn't even say lucky because we didn't get very lucky. I mean, that was a lot of relics we had to go through and couldn't even get one once the lot is like, it was it was pretty unlucky to be completely honest. But we just kind of manipulated it enough to where it will work for us. Um, it's fairly low the lotus, um, although our libertas is pretty ridiculous. I mean, there's nine and then two eights, so that's a really good libertas level for first run, which is just a lot of gold. That's all we really want at this point. Is just <laughs> we need gold to buy more levels, and a little bit of Solomon we have. 
we'll get us moving. And then um, the nice thing is as well is actually, did we do this one? No, I didn't beat that one yet. So I didn't think I beat it. But we beat that, so we can now claim that reward and the day before. So that gives me even more, um, which ruby, no relic. Um, yeah, take those rubies. Eight hours, I don't need a 70%, that's the problem, but I'd rather that over the rubies, so. You can see how 30 minutes is <laughs> three rubies, um, which is just, it's funny. We need 10 more levels of that yet? Nah, not quite yet. We're not insta-killing here. It's because I'm not really leveling things up. If I was leveling things up, we would be fine. But I'm really trying to get Midas up to that. Yeah. Once you get Midas there, you're pretty pretty golden. Uh, and now we've got these. We can see what we can summon next. Libertas Relic might not be bad. But because we have so much Libertas... I mean, this will be what we'll get next. That's actually... That was a decent setup there, honestly. Uh, I am going to just kind of dump these in here. Oh, wow. I can do that all the way through. I just went up at level 7. I forgot how good um, <laughs> Chor was making that. With level what? 25 Chor? Yeah, 25. It's pretty good. Now we've got a level 7 Cialatus, which is, um, I mean, a game changing amount of damage compared to what we had. So, along again with all the gold. I thought we were going to have like one left for that any to get the uh, level of uh, Libertas, anyways. So, I just wanted to run through that. I'm glad that worked. This is actually uh, going to be a pretty good run. I really, at this point, when you start seeing Maz on your first run, uh, if you're like where I am, I mean, like transcended and stuff and decent in, if you can basically insta kill all the way through, once you get to Maz, that's when most insta killing kind of stops, unless you buy the levels of Maz. Um, Maz makes such a big difference. And from here on, just buy like a level of the next guy, because one level does so much. When you get down to this point, oh, I meant to hold the button. Make that go up. Uh, get you up to 125. I can buy all the upgrades. Wait that out. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you can see how quickly this is rolling together. I mean, we're still looking at 11 minutes. Um, It's going to be a little longer than I'd like. We may ride this one through, though. Let me run through this whole run with you guys. I don't think we have any comments for today. We're going to start hitting comments the rest of the week. There were some comments that came in, and I definitely could throw them in. But while we transcend, probably won't do them on a lot of the transcending episodes. Uh, unless it's like there's not tons to talk about. But I like explaining the transcendence, especially when we get a, a good one like this. This is a really good start. I really prepped for it because I wanted to try to get decent timing. I mean, it's Saturday right now. Uh, and I don't know if I have crazy plans going on tonight. Um... I know I won't be able to efficiently play nonetheless, but uh, I like to, if I can transcend on Saturday, Sundays, um, to have both days to make some progress, that's the best. I don't really know why I'm allowing levels of that there. We can't can't do that, so I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, we're still into the killing. We're getting to 100. Once we get down to Tree Beast, or sorry, not Tree Beast, uh, Frost Leaf, and going back into Tree Beast, uh, we will be fine. Um, that's when you can actually insta-kill on. With this setup, to be completely honest, I could probably push to 200 pretty decently. Was that just two fish? Or did I miss the first click? I may have missed the first click, but... Um, and then we should be able to buy the last two levels here. We got our relic, which is nothing we want. Um, it is rare. And again, this is how you check how much is going to go up. If you hit if you hit salvage, you can see that it costs 40 here. Um, if you level it up, you can see it's costing one. The next one cost 50 so that means it's gonna go up by 10 every time you level it up so until the cost of leveling it is 10 or up it's not worth doing so for the next one's gonna be eight sort of profiting two more off that one and then boom and we just from from what we were at to over 100 again which is almost enough to buy another level of one of these guys which you know wouldn't make a huge difference but it's i mean it's something so it's kind of how you weigh that out um, but yeah, I mean, at this point, you can just see how fast this is going. And this is kind of what you want your Transcendence run to be like, your first Ascension after. Like, you can do this. It's not hard to set this up. You just have to you have to plan it out with Relics. Do what I did with Relics there, and you're going to be fine. Uh, and honestly, if you can get this first run done fast, the second run is always fast, as long as you have Solomon, like I said. If you get Solomon in your first run, um, your second run should be no problem. Even if you get to 110, I mean, 110, you can see how much we got here. You may get less than that and say even if you get 100, if you go back in with 100 hero souls, you're going to be able to fly through because you're going to get all the 
uh, ancients you need. And realistically, you want Sealadis, Libertas, and Solomon. Um, if you get a Nog, Nog's not bad either. But really, those those three are like the prime for your second run. First run, Nog's better than uh, uh, Libertas if you have three auto clickers or more. But I'm not gonna complain about getting. And there's no Nog uh, relic, so. Which is kind of funny. I've always wondered why they never done that. Boom. Max to all that. At this point, we are better off waiting for Frostleaf. Get the first level of Frostleaf, and we are back to not even seeing the bar. We'll grind this out a little bit, and um, I'm going to probably push on past 130, but I want to get to 130 and time it, and then you can see kind of what we're actually at. We're, we're going to get sub um, 15 minutes. And again, I slacked around at the beginning. I, I, I had a slow start. I had like two or three minutes at the beginning where I just didn't really do anything. So um, we're coming up on it. And you can see we're still under it. Like we're about to hit it right here, um, and that—that's your guaranteed ones. Those are your guaranteed. We would get over a thousand hero souls if we did it here. I'm gonna push on more because I just like to see what I can get to. But right there, boom, 1446, and you beat it. Like that's it. First run done. You do not need to push any farther. That's all you need to do. You can be satisfied there. No need to do anything else on your first run. Um, I'm gonna do it because I'm insta killing. Like I said, even once I slightly stop insta killing, even right here, um, isn't really good to see. Which is that basically there's no need to push this on. Um, and honestly, the chance of you getting primals after that are so slim. I mean, yeah, it would give you a bit of a boost if you can get them. But the chance is just so slim. Does it really matter? And at this point, I'm okay throwing an auto clicker on them because I don't really care about this upgrade. So throw an auto clicker down. We'll check it here together. But um, anyways, yeah, see nothing. Um, and again, I could probably get probably get the 180 without slowing down much. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get going here and... I will give you guys an update, obviously, um, in the next video. But So, I hope you guys did enjoy. If so, please, smack the like button. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.